love and humanity mm -hmm. and intuition and collaboration and heart and soul and spirit and empathy and mm -hmm. trust. This mm -hmm. is this side of my, yeah. my head. Yeah. And over the last two years, as I've evolved more as a futurist and as a speaker internationally, I actually speak about this side mm -hmm. way more than I speak about this side, which mm -hmm. is about the, the human, the empathy and the trust side. Mm -hmm. So my thesis, mm -hmm. and I throw that to you, is the future of our world mm -hmm. and the, the currency of the future mm -hmm. is more trust and empathy mm -hmm. as opposed to technology and algorithms. Yeah. And how do you balance that? And what do you tell your student who comes and says, I want to be a techie, while another student says, I want to save the world. Mm -hmm. They you know, both have a value. I think they both have a value and they should never be mutually exclusive, yeah. right? I think if the previous uh, century were the century where we're trying to structure our society, mm -hmm. it makes sense that technology, numbers, finance, mathematics were driving that linear progression. Mm -hmm. We are now the point in which by itself the linear model does not suffice anymore. So we have to face the reality that we really need to reinvent the rules we said before. Mm -hmm. So being driven by the heart, to, you know, is really the only way forward. Why? Because the day will forget what humanity is all about. That's the end of our society, right? Uh, remember Homo sapiens from Yuval Harari, this, this bestseller book, and he says, the day the man thinks of himself as God, that's the end of our civilization. You know, I think we really have to recalibrate our value by saying, what does it mean to be a father, uh, a mother, a brother, a sister, you know, a, a child, right? Uh, whatever. What does it mean to have their role in society? How do we build a society that can build on identity without necessarily trading off on economic opportunities so that the takey and the guy driven by the heart, they can be partner. They can be part of a startup where somebody is maybe good with coding, somebody else is good at talking with a customer. But there should never be this space where people think that the trade-off being successful is to deprive yourself of who you really are. Mm -hmm. I think that's really where a lot of my students do.